Hello and welcome to With Lydia, the show where we look for ways to strengthen our faith. Today I want to share with you sermon notes from InTouchMinistries.org where the pastor until fairly recently was Dr. Charles Stanley. There's a sermon called Following Jesus where Dr. Stanley asks, Are you a follower of Jesus? Many people answer this question with a variety of what Dr. Stanley calls a religious activities, such as uh, going to communion or giving to charity. But he says that this is a whole life commitment and not just about religious activities. And so he gives a list of what characterizes a follower of Jesus. He starts with the concept of being born again. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, 3. This is the first qualification, he says, to become a follower of Jesus. We must confess and repent of our sins by faith, receive God's forgiveness, surrender our lives to Christ as our Savior and Lord, and start walking in his ways. So basically, Dr. Stanley's saying it's not about works, lest any man should boast, uh, but of uh, not becoming, uh, improving ourselves, but walking with the spirits. This is the beginning of following Jesus. The next characteristic of following Jesus is belief. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. Dr. Stanley says, quote, Just as we trusted Christ for salvation, so we must continue to live by faith as we follow him. If we don't believe him, we live self-centered lives and won't do what he says or walk in his ways. But as genuine followers of Christ, we'll trust him with our difficulties, pains, temptations, needs, and rely on him to enable us to do whatever he says. Another qualification, or rather quality, of one who is following Jesus is listening. He quotes Matthew seventeen five. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Matthew seventeen five. Dr. Stanley says, quote, Too often many of us begin the morning with thoughts of everything we need to accomplish that day. Although fulfilling our responsibilities is important, it is more essential to spend time talking to the Father, asking him to guide, protect, and enable us to be obedient to him and sensitive to the needs of those around us. End quote. I once heard someone describe this particular quality of a follower of Jesus as getting your marching orders from your commander-in-chief. Another characteristic of a follower of Jesus is is love. From Matthew 12, verse 30, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark twelve thirty. Dr. Stanley says, quote, we can't follow Jesus with a divided heart, half in the world and half with God. The love we are to have for Christ involves our entire being. Therefore, we cannot allow impure thoughts, images, and words into our minds and claim to love him at the same time. Another quality of a follower of Jesus is obedience. From John 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8, 12. Dr. Stanley says, quote, following requires obedience, and when this is the desire of our hearts, we recognize how foolish it is to go our own way. Sin always leads to loss and the death of something, whether it's opportunities or blessings, Romans 6.23. If we stubbornly refuse to obey God, he will send enough heartache and trouble into our lives to correct us. It is always best to obey him because... He is the source of every good thing, end quote. Prayer is another uh, attribute of a follower of Jesus. Uh, he quotes Luke six twelve. It was at this time that he, meaning Jesus, went off to the mountain to pray, and he spent the whole night 
in prayer with God. Luke 6, 12. Dr. Stanley says, quote, if we follow Jesus, we will be a person of prayer just as he was. In fact, it will be a major part of our lives, not just an occasional plea for help when we're in need. End quote. It should be a daily habit, in other words, and prayer is simply talking to the Lord. Another attribute of a follower of Christ is service. From John twelve twenty six. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. John twelve twenty six. Dr. Stanley says, quote, Jesus came as a servant and as his followers. That's what we should do as well. All of us have the capacity to serve the Lord in some fashion by serving others. Service comes in different formats, helping caring, encouraging, comforting, giving, teaching, or sharing God's word, end quote. Another attribute of a follower of Christ is suffering. Philippians 1, 29, For to you it has been granted for Christ's sake not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake. Dr. Stanley, that's Philippians 1, 29. Dr. Stanley says, quote, If we are following Jesus... We can expect to experience some form of suffering. We may be rejected, suffer financial loss, or even lose relationships because we make people feel uncomfortable and don't fit in with those who love the world. But this should not stop us from following Jesus and sharing the gospel. End quote. The final attribute that Dr. Stanley mentions as uh, that one should have as a follower of Christ is sharing. Matthew twenty eight nineteen. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Matthew twenty eight nineteen. Dr. Stanley says, quote, This is Jesus' command, and if we are going to follow him, we will share the truth of God's word with others, regardless of whether they like us or not. In a world of hatred, bitterness, animosity, and death, Christ's followers are risking their lives to bring the gospel to people throughout the world. Each of us can surely say something to spark the interest of someone we know who is not following Jesus, end quote. I've tried to make an acronym out of it, but the only thing I can think of was BLOPS. B-B-L-L-O-P-S-S-S. Born again, believe, listening, love, obedience, prayer, service, suffering, sharing. It's an unfortunate acronym, but maybe that'll help to remember it. Dr. Stanley suggests writing it down so that you can look at it at night before you go to sleep and really think through uh, how you're following Jesus and so forth. And that way, uh, in the morning, you will wake up having thought about it all night or your brain, your subconscious having thought about it all night and helping you to become a better follower of Christ, or helping all of us to do so. You can find this sermon on intouch.org, and the sermon, again, is called Following Jesus. Again, that's intouch.org. And look for the sermon called Following Jesus. So you, they're like sermon notes you can download for free, of course, and that should hopefully be helpful to you. This has been With Lydia, and I'll see you next time.